Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. Uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and I want to crank out a bunch of videos right now. So I'm going to do the warm up challenges, which will be really easy. So this is more of a beginner problem. I wouldn't uh, watch this if you're interested in, you know, doing some harder stuff. So yeah, you can see it's easy. Uh, John works at a clothing store. He has a large pile of socks that he must pair by color for sale. Given an array of integers representing the color of each sock. Determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors there are. So an integer represents a color, so we want pairs. So if we saw two ones, that would be a pair, or two twos, that would be a pair. And we just want to calculate the number of pairs. Since there's three ones in this one, that's one pair, and then we just have the leftover. We don't even worry about them. We just want the number of pairs. So there's two pairs. So if n equals seven socks with these, there's two, there's three twos, three ones, but technically that's only one pair of each. And then there's not enough for a pair of threes, so two pairs. Um, complete the function below. Um, I was going to try and do this in a really efficient way, but without, with, you know, constant, uh, space and maybe a linear run through, uh, but I didn't really see how you could do that. So what I did is I just used a data structure and I looked at the editorial and they used a data structure too. Let me know if you guys have a better solution here. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to just declare a set of integers. We'll just call it set is equal to new hash set. Um, so we got hash set here. Um, and then we're going to loop through. Also, we have the number of pairs, sorry. Int num pairs will be zero at first because we haven't traversed anything yet. And, you know, you could do that weird check if you want to, um, not weird, it's pretty normal to do. Uh, if the length of the array is zero, then do num pairs is zero. Then we'll loop through the array. Otherwise, um, so while well, i is less than array.length, i plus plus. So we're doing that linear scan. We have our set right here. Um, and then I just did if set contains uh, array of i, um, then we will increment num pair you can do this the other way let's do it this way it makes will make more sense for anyone who's a beginner that's watching so if our so a, a set basically just holds unique values so it's just a data structure you can use any data structure really like an array or something but you know a set has a dot add and dot remove um, method that's pretty easy so so I'm just using that so if a set doesn't contain we're looping through the array if a set doesn't have the current value then we will add it to the set, right? To know that we have at least one of the um, socks of that value in the set. Else, if it's already in the set, then we can just do num pairs plus plus because we found a pair because it was already in there and then we found another one. So there's a pair, we increment the pairs and then we'll just remove it. Um, so yeah, that's super easy, and then you just return num pairs at the end. So it's a beginner problem. That's why it was super easy. Uh, hopefully you guys understood that. If you're a beginner, maybe I didn't explain it that well. A set is a data structure, and it will store unique values. You can use any data structure. Look up what data structures are. You can use an array. You can use anything that you can add and remove things to. We just we want if we see a one, and then we see we want to put it in this thing. And then we'll check later if we have it, then we have a pair. And then we'll remove it from that storage. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's super easy. Uh, hopefully you guys kind of understand that. We can, I'll show you the, when you submit it, it's fine. And then I'll show you the editorial really quick before I uh, end this video and upload it. Um, so yeah, pass all test cases. Here's the editorial. It's solve this challenge we go through. And they actually count the frequency of each of the socks and then do integer division by two because two is a pair. Um, and they use hash map to get the frequency. I think that's, uh, I think mine's a little more efficient than this even. So, um, yeah, just maybe use a set and do what I did, but let me know there, maybe there's an even better solution than that. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Going to do some more warm ups here. Uh, the easy way out of making videos, right? So sock merchant, that was sock merchant and I'll see you guys next time.